Satnam, thank you so much for joining. Welcome to Creative Connections Readings. My name is Jean, and this is going to be a pick a pile reading to see karmic energy surrounding you, okay? We have four piles to pick from, as usual. For pile number one, go check out my uh, collective readings if you resonate. Uh, the link is in the description box. For pile number one, we have this beautiful black feather. <laughs> for pile number two, we have this beautiful blue, I'm hearing like a royal blue feather, okay, Ooh. And then for pile number three, we have this, uh, I heard when I was choosing the feathers inconspicuous, um, but now looking at it, it, it seems so like almost metallic uh, for, uh, for pile number three, this feather, it looks so like sleek and like, yeah. And then for pile number four, we have this beautiful feather, okay? <sighs> yeah. So yeah, those are the piles that pick from to once again see what is the karmic energies. Pick your pile and I will see you there. Sat Nam, pile number one, for those of you who pick. Interesting, this black feather. This is going to be a reading to see karmic energy surrounding you. Mm. So definitely very protective. And I got like a protective vibe. I heard like feathers are also very protective when I was uh, finishing up with pile number four's showcase. Um, so I'm feeling a very like, um, very calming, very protective um, very, like, darkly soothing energy, okay? Actually. Like, I feel like actually somebody or something wants to protect you or feels very protective over you. Three of air choice. With this three of air, I feel like, like, if you went through something ridiculous, if you went through something ridiculous or something, um, this person, like, relates to that or something. Choice, death, rebirth. Interesting. This energy is very clear. I feel like either this person or this being, um, I don't know yet what this has to do with, with karma, but let's, we're going to look now, but I feel like it's very, um, clear in its communication or something. Two, three, four. Okay. So the hero, ooh, masculine, feminine, ooh, <sighs> and the five of wands. Okay. I heard somebody wants to fight. I I am the man who will fight for your honor. Somebody really likes you, I feel. Somebody, the karmic energy surrounding you, pile number one. This might even be you yourself, but I feel like this felt like an external energy. But this might even be, it might feel external because it's an aspect of you that you never truly experienced before. Either way, hmm... But see, maybe there's this energy also coming in, being reflected at you because you're experiencing it within. Anyway, the karmic energy surrounding you, pile number one, there's some kind of energy that uh, wants to, like, fight for you, that wants to, like, beat up some shit, beat a motherfucker up, is specifically what I'm hearing. Three, 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 okay? Um... This is a very, um, I'm hearing, I don't know why, but this is a very balanced and healed or healing aspect of yourself. So it might not even be like a, an actual person. It's you, motherfucker, is what I'm hearing. Okay, okay, fine, fair enough. So the, the karmic energy surrounding you, pile number one, is that you're becoming this like hero for yourself, queen of cups. Yeah, you're becoming this hero for yourself. Like being receptive to being this hero to yourself. But then again, I Queen of Cups again, the Emperor Reverse. Hmm. Okay, let's just get the actual cards. I just feel like there's some kind of energy that is um, uh, like willing to put up with a lot of shit for you or with you or something like that, okay? And quite honestly, I feel like, but why did it feel like this per this energy was relating to your pain? So it must be a person. But this thing is very hidden, this thing. This person, 444. This energy, this consciousness is very hidden. I mean, it's very dark.
The Eight of Wands reverse. I heard a lack of love or a lack of a love message. Or a lack of forward movement. Six of Swords reverse. Yeah, a lack of forward movement. Clarifying the masculine, feminine. Like, I'm feeling extremely centered and extremely calm. And just like, you know. <sighs> yeah. That's too much. I'm going to shuffle three times again. Ooh. And the Hermit Reverse. What is happening? The karmic energies are running out. King of Cups. Four of Cups Reverse, King of Cups. Um, so maybe the karmic energy surrounding you is that there... Yeah, so maybe there is... Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I feel like quite honestly, poll number one... I feel like, I don't know how you're going to feel about this, but I feel like there is somebody from the past or some kind of like energy, or again, it could be a consciousness or, uh, uh because I was thinking that this dark energy, this dark consciousness keeps popping up. I feel like that consciousness wants to, after a whole lack of movement, wants to get out of some kind of a, maybe they want to fight um some kind of, of 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 lack of forward movement or they want to fight to be this hero okay um but this this consciousness though i feel like that's what's happening i feel like that's what's happening quite honestly um like they want there to be a lack of a missed opportunity because it is the queen and the king of cups together and then the four of cups reverse right so there has to be some kind of like, let, let's see, I feel like the Oracle card will clarify a little bit more. Be open to healing information. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> well, everyone, the karmic energy surrounding you. Sit yourself at sight higher. Stand your ground. I feel like, I feel like there's something coming around from the past, something or someone coming around from the past after some kind of period of a whole lot of stagnation. This might be somebody that didn't do put the effort in or that didn't fight for you or I don't know. I don't know. Like, why would anybody want to fight for somebody that, right? Like, why would you, why do you, anyway, somebody, somebody didn't do something, I feel, that you, you know? Um, I feel like maybe there's going to be some kind of communication once it come in that's going to create some kind of full circle energy. I feel like God, I feel like God is saying just be open to the healing information, okay? Like um cuz it could be something that maybe even allows you to move forward. It could ultimately I guess lead to some kind of love or something. Um uh, I, I don't know though, but I, I feel like the most important thing is for you to get closer, closure. And for some reason, this thing, um, coming out of hiding in your life or something like that, or coming with this, yeah, this, uh, I wanted to say communication, but with the Ace of Wands, it might be illumination, but it could still be communication, right? But some kind of like new beginning or new understanding or new, um, just like new energy with with this with this past consciousness is leading you to some kind of forward movement yourself as well okay so just be aware of that um that was a very interesting meeting so thank you so much please do consider liking and subscribing and i will see you again for another one so number two for those of you for those of you who picked, just carrying some negative vibes there. Uh, from pile number, uh, for those of, pile number two. For those of you who picked this blue feather, this is going to be your reading. To so, uh, karmic energy surrounding you. So definitely I feel like the karmic energy surrounding you already is maybe some kind of clearing and protective energy as well. Like it felt like that energy was coming from the end of pile number one's almost kind of bleeding into your pile. So if you do resonate with needing some kind of protection, maybe go check that out. Um... It, it, it took quite a turn though, but anyway, poll number two, there's something about speaking or communication maybe with this blue. I feel like there might more maybe some, some kind of like, like, like higher uh, spiritual understanding maybe. Um, but karmic energy surrounding poll number two, let's see. I feel like there might be a need to clear something away, okay? Maybe there is a little bit of karma somewhere that's like lingering. Heaven, Earth, 
Ten of Wands and emotions. Yeah. So there might be some kind of like emotional burden that you're still carrying that's um, not allowing you to ascend into some kind of a heaven on earth state. Uh, ten, heaven, earth, seven of fire and the six of cups. Eight of pentacles, ten of cups, journey. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have the Queen of Air, the Two of Pentacles, and Abundance, the karmic energy surrounding pile number two. I feel like this emotional thing, this emotional thing that you are carrying, this emotional... And see, I feel like this emotional thing can even be an attachment to a person or a situation or a certain outcome. Um, I feel like this emotional thing that you are carrying is some kind of... Um, um, juggling, okay, I do, I do know, I do know that there is some kind of outside influence, um, that is affecting you in some way, but it feels very minor, though, quite honestly, poll number two, it feels very minor, it is affecting you in some kind of way, maybe in, um, in thought or in something like that, but, um, this person might be watching you or gossiping or, I don't know, something, 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 okay, um, I don't know what this person or this energy or whatever is. The thing is, I feel like you need to realize that this is literally something that you, one, two, three, that you are um, holding in your hand. Like you can literally just like, oh, okay. You know, you can like r really just drop it and walk away. Which I mean, the Queen of Air is all about anyway. It's about like, I'm cutting something off. I feel like you should know you have much more. Um, I want to say, I wanted to say power and then abundance and then opportunity, one, four, four, um, in your grasp than you realize. Okay. And I feel like that is an understanding that might be coming to you. Okay. And I feel like you're also about to communicate this to the world or something like that. Okay. Actually, not this way. And communicate, I mean, as in like, you're going to start like, like you're going to start speaking, um, almost kind of like in, in some kind of way, you're bad assery or something, but yeah, definitely somebody's watching you. Okay. Not your bad assery, it's just like, <laughs> but just like, I don't know. You'll just drop the ball and leave or something. Triple two or something like that. The devil. Don't get in my way. I got to get paid. I feel like you are going to obviously receive some kind of abundance. Even though somebody is trying to make you feel a little bit juggled or whatever, you are still moving toward the seven earth. And maybe this person doesn't want you to, right? Because um, I feel like both you and this person is the queen of air. So there might even be some kind of a reflective energy, which once again is just showing you that like you, um, you have much more power in the situation, purely with thought or something like that, or with your words or something. Um, that is that, that then you realize, okay, upon number two. And I feel like part of your karma is that you're going to be realizing that it, and it's going to be making you extremely abundant or it's going to lead you to a very abundant mindset. Either way, you're receiving abundance, okay? And you're receiving some kind of heaven, earth situation. I just wanted to say I'm kind of interested to know what these cards mean, but quite honestly, I'm not really, but I feel like, <laughs> because I feel like as a kind of no, actually, 333, three, three, I just feel like there might be a lot of people or somebody very interested in your life or in your, um, in your cards or your destiny. Like, and for some reason, I, I hope I didn't offend anybody by saying not really, because I feel like. I just got this understanding of like, that's my higher self. Like it's, it's giving me the information as, as I'm reading. So like, I know, but like, I still need to read it anyway. Yeah. You're definitely receiving some kind of newer understanding or maybe even a newer perspective or just a higher understanding or something. Okay. Ooh, the queen of pentacles reverse. Clarifying the queen of swords. Okay. The eight of wands clarifying the two of pentacles, and then the four of wands clarifying abundance. This person might have been using some other finances or stability, or they might have been attacking your stability in a way, or uh, something like that, okay? They, they might have been, uh, be this through magic, or, but again, this feels very minor, like, um, this feels really, like, doo -doo -doo -doo, like, at least now it is. Now it feels minor to you. Um, 
this person might have tried to affect like a home life for you or whatever. It doesn't really matter because again, like you're getting abundance and the fourth ones. I feel like you're not gonna care. Like I'm all I'm also all of a sudden like like, uh, like getting a lot of Archangel Michael vibes. It's like Michael. Miguel, handle that por favor. Or something like that, okay? <laughs> Like, um, I feel like Archangel Michael is also very present with you. Some of you might really uh, like working with angels in general. Um, but yeah. I also see there's some kind of like celebration coming towards you because of, I just heard a, a lack of, I wanted to say abundance. I feel like again, but I felt like some kind of like shots coming into the energy field. Like somebody is trying to maybe even put you in some kind of lack of consciousness or something. Okay. Trying to make you think that you are not abundant, um, or trying to think that you're less abundant than you, than you actually are. I don't know. Um, I feel like that's going to be happening to this person. Okay. Like, I mean, would you like, yeah. Fuck around with fine out kind of vibes. I don't know. That's what the Queen of Swords is about, right? Uh, five, five, five. I was waiting for that. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yes, I feel like there's some kind of change coming in, um, in, in regards to your abundance, in regards to your, your home life, in regards to your, um, like celebrations and maybe even just like, I know the Four of Wands isn't social life, but I'm hearing social life. Okay. Especially also with the Eight of Wands. That's a lot of like passionate communication and passionate energy and like, yay, celebrations and stuff like that. Okay. And it might be because some kind of um, other foe is cut out of your life with this karmic energy um, or you're like by you just dropping the ball or no. Yeah, that's it. Like you're just dropping the ball with somebody or something and like your anger campaign or something like that. That's your karma, pile number two. And you're going to be flourishing with that. Okay. I mean, yeah, set your sights higher. Harness, harness mystic power with high priestess. The Lord, Broken Arrow. Um, absolutely fucking lady, pal number two. Uh, the karmic energy surrounding you is that, like, you are receiving a lot of abundance despite, again, somebody trying to um, de destabilize you, um, like, trying to uproot you or trying to, like, uh, maybe even do root work on you or something. Uh, maybe at some point it was, like, really fucking intense for you, but, like, you walked into maybe some kind of higher vibration already, and now it's, like, very minor, okay? Um, so so, so you're going to be getting a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness, a lot of um, forward movement, maybe even the ability to, like, juggle heaven and earth. Like, like what if I want both? Like, you know, you can do whatever the fuck you want, ultimately. Set your sights higher, stargazer. You're reaching towards the heavens. And um, I feel like there's about to be some kind of, like, pivotal moment as well that's going to, like, show you or, like, really make you, f like, know, like, um, like, in a... I, I, I don't want to say physical manner because not necessarily, but like um, maybe in a very magical or spiritual way, like, whoa, like you are doing something or you are going somewhere or something like that. OK, and it's and maybe it's even going to give you this like power or experience or energetic will or something to like drop the ball with something like no. Nah. OK, thank you so much. Number two. And that's going to be very self-empowering as well. Strong, strong boundaries. Uh, that was your reading. Please do consider liking and subscribing. And we'll see you again for another one. Satnam, pile number three. For those of you who pay this really sleek looking feather, I can cut a motherfucking throw with this. Don't test me. Don't test me. I don't know why that came up. Because it looks so metallic, though. I don't know. Like, whoosh. Um, pile number three, your, your time stamp was like 18, 18. So that was something significant to me. And it almost felt like the karmic energy surrounding you is some kind of new cycle. So instead of being a nine cycle, maybe it's now a 10 cycle. So maybe you like, um, literally mastered something and now you're starting something completely fucking brand new, like completely brand new. Okay. So let's see for pile number three, I'm getting some kind of backstabby energy in my left side. As I'm saying that, um, but I felt like that energy came up when I was doing the ting ting thing. So let's see. Six of fire, nine of wands, queen of earth. I'm hearing stability, baby. King of air. That's the truth. And desire, the devil card. Like a whole lot of fucking um, stability. Ooh, the king of fire. Ooh, maybe even a whole lot of, I'm hearing maybe even a whole lot of sex or something. Or a whole lot of like confidence and personal power. Which could lead to a whole lot of friskiness. I like this vibe that I'm in. King of Cups. 
Yes. Whoa. And the seven of fire. Hmm. Hmm. I just heard love magic as well. But I mean, what was that? Part number three, if somebody was like, I feel like somebody is watching. If somebody, maybe somebody is thinking that you did love magic on them or somebody is thinking, I don't know why that's coming up there. Let me look at the cards. I'm not going to go too deep into the energies. I want to say what the, I, I want to look at what the cards have to say. King of fire, king of cups, seven of fire, six of wands. What the fuck is happening? I feel like this, this, this thing is shifting. If there was somebody that was emotionally deceptive to you, Palm number three, like maybe it, it, it like, it like, uh, showed itself as some kind of innocence, but then it, then you experienced it to be maybe some kind of like sharp object or something. Um, I feel like there's about to be some either revo revo revolution, Jesus, a resolution or something like that. Okay. Because the seven of fire is not, it's like, it's not giving me a good vibe. It's not like evil. It's just giving me this kind of like weirdy vibe. Maybe somebody even thought that they were better than you or too good for you or something and now they can't stop watching you maybe now they can't stop like maybe this person is getting a lot of like readings done on you or something even I feel like Paul number three so yeah. Jesus is thing. <laughs> uh I feel like Paul number three, <clears throat> maybe somebody I feel like somebody is trying to hide something. Somebody is trying to cover up or they did try to cover up some kind of a um Weird something. I know that was a little bit strange, but I had, I don't know why that happened, quite honestly. Um, I don't know why I did that, but like when in the channeling, uh, what's happening with part number three? I feel like somebody's trying to hide something or somebody's trying to, um, not, not to be seen. Okay. And I feel like for maybe who it is that they are or what it is that they did to you. But I feel like there's some kind of resolution coming because I'm feeling a lot of, a lot of dense energies. I'm, I'm feeling a lot of dense energies um, <clears throat> kind of dissipate. But I don't know, darn. Like, let's see. I know that was a, that was a very confusing um, start to the energy pile number three. But yeah, the world. Maybe some, something is coming to like a resolution, like a, to a completion. Again, like 10. I feel like this person might have messed a lot with you energetically, something, Eight of Swords. Or maybe, like, they just felt very, like, messed with? This might definitely be some kind of either a karmic contract or it might be some kind of a, I don't know, the star. Ooh. Oh. I'm being I'm being drawn to to pile number one being black because again I'm feeling even though this person I feel like I feel like this person I feel like this person is either like very confident or very cocky very good looking like the star they might even be like I don't know that might have some kind of status like in a company or whatever but I feel like there's some kind of part of them maybe that they keep very very hidden. And I don't know, I don't know necessarily if they hurt you or anything. I don't know, this person is like, I feel like they're very good at hiding their vibes or their emotions or something. Seven of Pentacles, clarifying the, the King of Fire, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this, this, this situation might have been very either confusing or very like, um, just hidden or something like that. The Empress Reverse, clarifying the King of Cups. Karmic energies for pile number three. 
I keep hearing hidden, hidden, hidden. The moon in reverse. In seven of fire. Clarifying seven of fire. Seven of swords. I feel like somebody did something very fucking like scaly. Four, five, six. Very like deceptive. Prince of Cups reverse. Maybe somebody was like really playing with you. Maybe somebody was catfishing you. Maybe somebody was... I'm even hearing testing you to call some kind of judgment on you to test you or something. What? The fuck? <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. But look at that. Okay, the Hierophant. Nine of Cups reverse. The Hangman. Ten of Pentacles. This might have even been a group of people. But there was some kind of like ringleader or something. This person manipulated you or emotionally manipulated. I don't know, something wondering whether they should invest in you or something. Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Yeah. They might have thought you were a soulmate or something, but then they decided that you're not or something with the Ace of Cups reverse. Uh, the strength card. I don't know. This person just feels like that there was some kind of like deception here. Maybe this person played with you and then when they were done and they were like, oh, okay, no, or whatever, they like, yeah, okay. But like in a really shitty way, I don't know if this is like energetic or actual. Like maybe they treated you in a very shitty way or maybe <laughs> you treated them in a very shitty way. I don't know. Somebody was very deceptive, but I feel like something is about to be revealed here. And I feel like it has something to do with some kind of Empress Reverse as well. And about this person that was doing this. Like maybe this person was 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 coming towards you with like two different personas. Ooh, maybe even at the behest. A behest. Behest? Of some kind of Empress in Reverse. I feel like something big is about to be revealed here. Because this is like two kings. Or like, I don't know. This just feels like 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 high stuff. Or something like that. At least for you in your life. I don't know. Like some kind of major reveal. Like, Ch -ch -ch. but again, it brings some kind of resolution. It brings some kind of victory, okay? The sun! Enjoy success and happiness. Ooh, something big is about to be revealed, pile number three, and I'm being told I'm not allowed to tell you what. I don't know. I don't know what's about to be revealed. I don't like, yeah, the high priestess, traveler, what? Stargazer. <clears throat> I don't know. I just all I know is something is like I don't know if this person was bad, if this person was good. I don't know. Just know that you know what what is happening, okay? I feel like you you, you sensed some kind of what and who I'm talking about, I hope. Um, but there's about to be something major revealed to you. And this is going to bring a whole lot of healing, a whole lot of success, and a whole lot of happiness towards you, okay? Um, like, even maybe towards this person or these people. I don't know. I'm just feeling some kind of, like, wow, kind of, like, outcome or something. Um, like, a, maybe even very unexpected outcome, like, it's completely just and completely pure and completely something like that, okay? It's like, just like, whoa, like, like, I don't know, just a very happy fucking outcome, pile number three, uh, for you, okay? And even if you don't want somebody else to be happy, I don't know, like, even if they are, you're gonna be happy about it. This is just very fucking, like, yes, okay? Like, I like this vibe, but I'm still, I'm, I'm feeling some kind of density though. Yeah, I desire as I'm saying that the youth thought card. So just, I'm being told, just let the light burn that up. Just let the sun burn that up and let it expose all of these um, things that's about to be exposed to you. I feel like quite honestly, the things that are be uh, about to be exposed to you is also going to make you feel extremely happy, okay? So be aware of that. Like, this isn't something, oh, no, you're going to be very happy about this, like, noticing and seeing all these things, okay? Uh, thank you so much, uh, pal number three, that was your reading. Please do consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you again for another one. What's up so now? Pal number four! For those of you who picked this beautiful feather... <sighs> I feel like a thing you should have put a ring on it. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Uh, this is gonna be maybe this. This is giving me some kind of like lady and leopard print vibes. I don't know. Maybe you're dealing with a femme fatale. What's happening for palm number four? Karmic energy surrounding palm number four. 
Maybe even some kind of African vibe. Yeah, King of Earth. I'm getting like a nature safari African vibe. Knowledge and the scribe. Interesting. I mean, it doesn't have to be Africa, I guess, but Eight of Wands, Ten of Swords, and Desire. Oh my god, the devil. Okay. Car Ooh. Karmic energy surrounding you, pile number four. Eight of Wands, Ten of Swords, the devil. Okay. I feel like. I feel like. There's a few energies I'm picking up here. There's some kind of energy of either a either a a stop coming to some kind of devil energy into your life or a stop coming to some kind of like earth sign Capricorn or something or a stop coming to somebody's advancement or something like that. Like with the eight of wands and the ten of swords, I got like a stop to some kind of like Arrows of love, maybe even, or something like that, okay? And quite honestly, I'm feeling for some of you, I'm feeling very, like, night time. Then it heightens each sensation. I'm hearing something like that even, okay? Maybe somebody's moving more towards... May, I don't know, maybe you went through an ending and you're going to the dark side or somebody is going to the dark side or some kind of dark side thing is ending. I don't know what's happening here. Quite honestly, part number four. You know, part number three was also very confusing to me. Much more than this, though. Um, I feel like the, the, like a, a diff different scenario. So take it as it resonates. Let me get a little bit more info because I feel like that will help. The lovers. The moon reverse. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. the world yeah there's definitely something i do feel a very intense sense of completion or like a finality or something like that like a final call being made or like something ending with its inner swords up Four of Cups. I feel like somebody... I need to say it before. I feel like somebody is either deciding... Yeah, somebody's deciding to move on. To walk away. To... Um, this could be a Capricorn. Because I feel like they don't want to be stuck. Strength, temperance, reverse, ace of cups, reverse, the world. Quite honestly, part number four, I feel like this is, this might be some kind of like, like a situation journey that you experience as some kind of ace of pentacles. Um, I feel like somebody is moving on towards something new. The maiden, king of earth, the youth, maiden, uh, three of fire, perception, I don't know why, Paul number four, and you might not want to hear this, but quite honestly, I'm getting some kind of a sense that maybe somebody is, like, moving, I don't know if they're moving away from you, quite honestly, like, deciding not to, like, I don't know, because I heard, like, an ending in the hours of love or something, I don't know, okay, all I know is this, like, 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 some kind of, like, um, it feels like a Capricorn or something is deciding to, Either pass up a, uh, a situation or reject the situation and walk away, end something completely, end these arrows of love or end this communication, end this um, <sighs> energetic expression with you maybe even. Um, or you might be doing this. You might also be choosing to walk away. Take it as it resonates because of a, a wanting to no longer be stuck. Okay. This could even go as, as so so far as to somebody putting an end to some kind of addiction, okay? I don't know why this feels like some kind of outside person. Maybe you're an, maybe you're a different person when you're addicted. Anyway, I feel like somebody somebody is definitely walking away from something um that kept them very stuck and I feel like this was some kind of a 
this doesn't like the arrows of love, but it feels like a situation ship or it feels like something like that. Okay. It feels like a, there was some kind of level on, of uncertainty the whole time anyway. But I feel like, I don't know, this, this, this doesn't feel like anybody should be truly like mad at each other or anything. I mean, the Ten of Swords though, complete backstabbing, but it just feels like an ending, quite honestly. It just feels like a, a call being made to me like, you know what, this, 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 okay. Um, I just don't want to be stuck, so I want to move on. Something like that, okay. And I feel like you understand or they understand and it's just like, good, cool. Let's end this bullshit, this like devil energy or whatever, Okay. Guardian Angel, you are not alone. Feel loved and comforted with Mother Earth. Eagle, see from a higher perspective. Yeah, I feel like I feel like there is actually this higher perspective and this higher understanding in this karmic thing. Maybe some of maybe some of you shift your perception. Maybe some of you have come to a, an agreement that you were a karmic, um, or they're coming to an agreement that that person is a karmic. Take it as it resonates, okay? <clears throat> but um. I feel like, like quite honestly, it could even be, be be somebody wanting to no longer be stuck in regards to you to let you know that you are not alone. I don't know though. Like they could be doing this to somebody for somebody else as well. I don't know what the fuck. Um, I I feel like I just feel like this person that is in this energy is is very clear, but they I feel like they're also moving in silence. It's like. If they were to communicate something as to what they want to do or which direction they want to go, they would drop hints. They would like, like the angel, like, oh, here's a, like, what is happening? And then the angels are like, oh, here's a white feather. You know, something like that almost. Okay. Like, it's almost like this person is moving in silence or you're moving in silence. And I feel like you know you're not alone as well. Um, Feel loved and comforted. Yeah. Um, and yeah, this wasn't really what I expected from the readings today, but anyway, I want him out of judge. Thank you so much, Palmer, for that was your reading. Please consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you again from now on to my mind.